Okay, we are almost ready to go ashore in the polar regions. I have my top, my base layer, which is merino wool, nice thin wool layer. Cotton is a bad idea. And then going down, I've got the my fleece tights, very fetching, very attractive, I'm sure you agree. And then woolen socks. I generally tend to go for one pair of woolen socks. Some people like two, but one good thick pair of socks is good for a base layer. And that's my base layer. So for my lower half, I have Gore-Tex trousers, waterproof Gore-Tex trousers. Gore-Tex doesn't last very long, and you'll see that my boots are actually on the inside of my trousers because when a wave comes along, I uh, want the water to splash down the side of the boot, down the side of the trousers, rather than if I have it tucked in, like so and a wave comes along, it goes inside the boot and my boot fills with water, which is not ideal. Basically, my bottom half is ready to go. Like so. So mid layers, I usually have a couple, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm gonna spend time in a Zodiac, I'll have two mid layers. This is a nice sort of synthetic synthetic equivalent to down if you like, very thin, very light. And that's uh, layer one. And then my nice side of fleece, which is layer two, goes on the top. And that as a mid layer would do me for, probably for a Zodiac cruise if the weather was, was reason, a little bit on the cool side. To finish off with, neck gaiter, just to fill in that gap, I want to sort of get that whole area as covered as possible, and then my outer layer, my parka, waterproof and an extra little bit of insulation here, and that's my basic dress. To finish off with, sunscreen, very important. Uh, gloves, which I may or may not wear, make sure that they're in the pocket. Sunglasses, of course, and a nice hat. This is fleece lined, this one. And then, of course, to get into the Zodiac, the life jacket, the dreaded Zodiac life jacket, which has varying types of buckle. And then camera and anything else I want to bring with me. Good waterproof backpack. It goes on over everything so that if the life jacket actually needs to go off, it can go off un unhindered by the, the life jacket. And they are ready to go pretty much anywhere. <laughs>